Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be back working on the Mark II Golf and for those of you that have seen the other videos on our channel, um, I've just finished doing a um, engine refresh and engine bay refresh too. So I've been using the car now for a few months over the summer and just sort of tinkering about in it, daily in it and just enjoying it like I said I wanted to and basically that's the whole reason that I did that in the first place. Um, but as time's gone on, um, I've been looking more and more at it and looking at what else I can do in the engine bay just to make it look that little bit better. So one of the things that I wanted to improve is the plastic header tank. So for those of you that know your Mark IIs or your Volkswagens in general, you would know that it comes with a round plastic header tank. So these get really, really disgusted and grubby inside and they're quite hard to clean. So a lot of people end up just going out and buying a brand new one, which does look a lot better than the original, I'll, ad I'll admit. Um, however, being a fabricator and wanting to make custom parts for this car, um, I've decided that I'm going to make myself a custom alley header tank. So I need to now design a new header tank. Uh, fabricate it all up and hopefully get it all fitted up to the car and then I can make sure everything's working and it's all working as it should so I've got a few things to figure out um, so that'll be the first thing is sort of designing drawing it up on CAD and then actually making the product so I hope you enjoyed this video and as always don't forget to like and subscribe and I hope you enjoy I've got the original one here which I'm just using to copy to get the which I'm just using to copy to get the size for the new one. Um, so I've just been on um, Aquarium Volume Calculator and worked out how much or how big this is and how much it holds, like just in this piece itself, so I can get it about the same size. So that header tank holds um, 2.65 litres or 0.58 UK gallons. So what we need to do is make a header tank that is about the same size or holds about the same amount of um, water. So that is the next thing to do. Um, I've also had a look at another design which I am probably sort of leaning towards a little bit. Um, I just need to work out the sizes um, of what it needs to be to be the same volume so that will be the next thing is working that out and then we can get it all drawn up on CAD that should give us all of our templates and all of the um, angles for these bends and hopefully that should look quite nice in the Golf. I've just worked out that if I make this header tank 120mm tall by 150 wide and 150 long um, that should give us a pretty much the same amount of um, volume as the spherical uh, header tank that is originally on the car. I've now got myself a sheet of 2mm alley, um, I've got the drawings here to copy. Um, and then I've just got to map out where I'll be putting the holes in it. So the only two I'm worried about is the very bottom one and the top one for the uh, lid. So they're the main ones I'll be putting in it and the rest can be drilled um, later on. So one of the parts that I've also been having a lot of problems with is the level sender. So um, in the Golf obviously you've got a little plug that goes and that just reads whether your fuel gauge is low and if you need to top it up and it'll let you know on the clocks. So... Um, to overcome this, I've been doing a lot of searching, a lot of um, looking into what I can use. Um, I've had a few options, but I've come to the conclusion that this could potentially work. So this is out of a T4, I believe. Um, it's just screws in. It's got a little um, rubber seal on it, a little rubber O-ring. And then it's got a plug on it, which I'm hoping, I've not checked yet, which I should have done, but I'm hoping that this plug is very much the same or similar to the one that's on the car. If not, I'm sure I've got a plug somewhere on an lo old loom, so I'll just cut that off, solder the wires together, and then I should have um, a working sensor, hopefully. So while I was looking into this, I spoke to a friend of mine who's actually a machinist. Uh, he does a lot of CNC machining. And after I've been trying to find a tap for ages, because this thread is quite awkward, so it's M30 by 2.5. So it's not very common, it's actually quite big. Um, so that's made it really difficult. So I spoke to a friend of mine who said, I, we haven't got a tap, however, 
I can screw cut you one on the lathe. So that's what he did. And then about five hours later, he turned up at my workshop with this. So thanks very much to Jack, you are an absolute star, this is literally perfect. Um, it all screws in lovely, it's gone a weld in to the side of the header tank and then yeah, hopefully that should all, it shouldn't warp too much or enough to worry about. But yeah, hopefully that should all go together and then that should solve my issue. So thanks again Jack. Right, so here we have the two pieces that will make up the header tank. So first things first, um, I need to mark out all the bends. So these will be on this side. I've just been thinking about the top of the head tank and just to make it a little bit more interesting and just to add a bit more strength when it comes to welding obviously I'm going to be welding the top here and all around the sides so I'm thinking that I might put some um, uh, like pressings in the top of some sort um, I'm thinking maybe just like a, a line either side just to make it a little bit more interesting so I'm just going to mark that all out and then I'll get them pressed in So I did mention this earlier um, about how the standard one or the original one looks and as you can see it's pretty disgusted in there so hopefully this should improve the engine bay quite a bit. As you would have seen I've now got the header tank off the car and I've been having a look at the little sensor and as I mentioned before um, it might need a little bit of modifying for the plug and it turned out I was right. Um, the plug on the sensor is quite a bit smaller than the original plug so I'm going to have to do some uh, modifying and changing just to get that to fit right because obviously I don't want to bodge it, I want it to be right. So I'm going to have a look around and hopefully I've got a plug that will fit. If not, um, I'll just have to try and source one. So I think we'll leave this video here for today. There's still quite a bit more left to do to the header tank, um, a lot more or a few more things to work out. So I hope you enjoyed this video. In the next one hopefully we can get it all finished up, welded and put on the car and we can start testing it out and ironing out any issues if there are any. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, 